dear friends in this video I'm going to explain about you the application of principle of conservation of energy to a simple pendulum before going into the topic we should know what is the conservation of energy according to the law of conservation of energy energy can neither be created nor be destroyed the only thing it can be changed into neither two forms that is the potential energy or the kinetic energy we are going to understand this by a simple experiment by a simple pendulum in this simple pendulum a is the main position of the bob and o is the suspended position that is the resting place of the o and it is suspended by a rigid support b and c are the extreme positions of the bob a with mass m when the bob is displaced one side and then released it will make it oscillations it swings from one side to other reaching equal distance and equal height the point to be noted is with equal distance and with equal height with equal distance and with equal height now without taking the force of friction between the bob and the surrounding of air into the consideration we are going to learn about this phenomena a strict the noted point is the force of friction is not taken into consideration okay let's go into the topic the bob is at main position a and when it is displaced one side and then released it will reach the position c where the increase in height is being noticed when there is an increase in height when the potential energy is zero at the main position a then due to the increase in height the potential energy of the bob will become mgh nothing but the kinetic energy at the point a of the bob will be changed as the potential energy and the potential energy at the place a is changed into kinetic energy at the place c nothing but interchanging of these energies values and from c to a it again swings while coming from c to a it is because of the force of gravity and it should go from a to b what makes it go from a to b now let's understand with a mathematical expression normally kinetic energy is half mv square here the kinetic energy is taken as mgh so half mv square is equal to mgh cancelling m on both sides half v square is equal to gh and the we are transferring this 1 by 2 to the right side which means 2 into gh which results in 2 gh and v is equal to the root 2 gh which means square root 2 gh acquiring a velocity of 2 gh the bob from a moves to b the bob moves from a to b since it has the velocity of root 2 gh and again the same phenomena moving from a to b an increase in height is being observed an increase in height means increase in potential energy then the potential energy at the point a is converted as kinetic energy at the point b and the kinetic energy mgh is converted in to potential energy at the point b nothing but at the point b and c the potential energy will be mgh and kinetic energy will be zero and at the point a the potential energy will be zero and kinetic energy will be mgh again the bob will move from a b to a because of the force of gravity when it is moving from b to a only the kinetic energy has the value of mgh since it is having the kinetic energy it moves again from a to c to repeat the process since the kinetic energy which means the energy possessed due to the state of motion it will swing from a to c to repeat the process thus the bob will reach the extreme positions a to b and a to c with equal distances with equal heights but 
at the intermediate position from A to B middle and A to C in this middle, first C has kinetic energy 0 and B has kinetic energy 0 and this potential energy mgh and this also potential energy mgh. But during its intermediate positions from A to B, when it is moving from A to B, coming to this intermediate position, the, di the difference in height is observed and also it will have the kinetic energy. So when we are going from A to B, at the intermediate position of AB, the, there will be both the kinetic energy and the potential energy. Likewise, moving from A to C, from A to the intermediate position, an increase in height is absorbed and also the kinetic energy will be there. So, both the kinetic energy and the potential energy will be used at the intermediate position from A to C. Therefore, the sum of both remains constant throughout the swing. This is strictly true only in vacuum where there is no force of friction due to air. When there is a force of friction of air, it may be not possible to have a constant value at the intermediate positions also. So, it is strictly true only when it is in a vacuum, that is only when the air is not allowed. Okay friends, thank you for watching this video. Anything to improve, let me know in the comment sections. Like the video and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.